this tutorial is a little bit funny, well, not funny, it has a funny background story. I was trying to make like a cool owl design, but it ended up looking like a penguin, so I love penguins anyway, so it was a really, really, really cool and fitting uh, accident, you could say. And then uh, another part of it was actually my sister's idea, little icicles to match the penguins. So shout out goes to my little sister. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. You're gonna make a penguin on your middle finger. What you're gonna need is like, I'm using like a silvery gunmetal because I don't want to make him, make him a black penguin. I want to make him kind of shinier. So I'm gonna use gunmetal. And you're gonna just make like a big semicircle on your middle finger. So it's gonna look like this. And you wanna make it big enough so you can do all the detailing on it. See, just like that. And I'm just gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm gonna do a second coat because this color is kind of kind of see-through. There we go. So I have like a semicircle on my middle finger. And while we wait for that to dry, we're gonna take the royal blue that I used in my Three Musketeers tutorial, and we're gonna do like a French type tip, but it's gonna be an elongated French tip. It's gonna go about to the middle of all the rest of my nails, okay? So you're gonna do this on all your other nails, thumb included, except for the middle one, obviously, because we have the gun metal on that one. So here goes. So there you go. You've got your bluish, dark blue tips. And the reason we do that is because we're going to draw icicles on them after. So we want a darker color to kind of make the white and the silver pop. Okay, so next, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the features of my penguin. So I'm gonna take the white, and I'm gonna give it a white belly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a smaller semicircle than my silver one. Here goes. There we go, so I have like a white belly. Let's take a bigger dotting tool so we can give him big round eyes. This dotting tool would probably be the equivalent to the big pin inside your pen, okay? We're gonna make a big dot towards the top of his head. And we're gonna make a big dot right beside it and we want them touching because we want them to look almost cartoony. There we go. So we have two dots for his eyes. And then we're gonna let that dry and for now we're gonna take some orange, put it in our paint palette. And we're gonna take our paintbrush and we're gonna give him a tiny little beak. And the reason I'm using a paintbrush instead of um, instead of the dotting tool for this is because his beak is gonna be like long and pointy, so it's almost gonna be just like a little line. There you go, so we have a pointy little beak. And then we're gonna take some orange and make two tiny feet here at the bottom. So they're almost gonna be like two tiny little lines. There we go. So we got the shape of a little penguin going. And last but not least, we're gonna give him little dots for his eyes. So just some black in your paint palette. And take your dotting tool that's about the size of, I'd say, a bobby pin. We're gonna dip it. Give him big, bright, round eyes. There we go. 
So we've got our penguin, he's really cute. And now we're gonna do the details for our icicles that are gonna go on the blue on the blue part of our other nails. So I'm just gonna take some white and you're gonna take your paintbrush and you could do this with a striper also. And you're just gonna make uneven triangles on the rest of your nails. So I'm gonna start with my thumb and I'm gonna make I go going down. I'm actually going to switch to the nail art striper just because it makes finer lines, but you can use a paintbrush if you don't have one. Here it goes. And I'm gonna do this on the rest of my nails that don't have the penguin on it. So now we've got our polar ice caps. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a little glitz on them, a little glitter, so that they look shiny like they're frozen. Just thin lines on the white part. And I'm gonna do that to the rest of my nails. There you go, and you're all done. You have your penguin and your polar ice caps. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below, let me know what you thought. I know it's getting cold outside, just remember penguins are resilient to that cold. You can be a penguin too, just bundle up. And uh, have a great day. Bye.